press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello my dear students, in the last class we were reading the ashes that made tree bloom. Let me continue, I think we are at the end of the chapter, page number 62. So, how the old couple lost their pet dog and how they were benefited with that uh, the spirit of the dog and how the neighbor couple affected by it. Let us see what happened to them at last. So when he uh, scattered the ashes all with the tree, they started blooming. The same news even uh, heard by the news of the place and let us see what happened. So one day the kind old man hearing that his lord the daimyo was to pass along high road, high road means highway near the village. He heard that uh, daimyo is uh, passing by his village. So he wanted to uh, show something good for him. So he set out to see him. Set out means made a journey to see him. No can throw the taking his basket of ashes. He took one basket and he put ashes in it and he went out with a good intention. As a train approached, here train means it's not a vehicle or a coach, train means here procession, Meravanige. Approached near, came near, he climbed up into an old withered cherry tree that stood by the wayside. It's a highway road, okay, highway road and uh, directly you cannot see daimyos in that, especially in that area. They have some custom, let me explain it. So, instead of is standing or uh, sitting on the, his knees, he climbed a withered tree. Withered here, withered means dried, completely dried. cherry tree That stood by, stand, stood, stood on the tree, by the wayside. Wayside, raste, a raste dari alli, pakkadali ondu cherry tree there, and the poor tree, hard and the hard and dry agile, wanagi hogre. So now in these days of daimyos, daimyos, it was the custom, custom rudely, the practice, okay. It was the practice of Japanese, it will that part of province, uh, to give respect to the Lord by, you know, lying on the ground or prostrating. They never see the Lord or daimyos with the naked eyes. They give respect. This was a custom practiced in that province. When the lords passed by, for all the loyal people, loyal to okay, uh, people to shut up their high windows. They even pasted them fast with a slip of paper. Even they not only closed the windows, even it was sealed using a piece of paper. Why? Because they don't want it to uh, open for any reason. Even some want to watch the Lord uh, hidden behind the window. It should not be done because of that it was sealed by using a piece of paper. Uh, they so as not to commit the impertinence of looking down of his lordship. Impertinence and lack of respect. They don't want it to give, uh, they don't want to disrespect. Disrespect his lord. Impertinence, underline the word, that means lack of respect. They don't want it to show disrespect to the lord. That's why they have sealed the windows with piece of paper. And of looking down on his lordship. Looking down on Tandre, uh, disrespect could uh, you know, uh, considering that inferior, Rajana inferior, Maad Bardu. Okay. Good. Sunday example healthy. Ika Mysuri Diala, Mysuru Rajru Aldruva Chaga. Ivatu Kuda, though it is a republic, Namdu constitution Idru Kuda, on the Aurjina, Rajam Antanaki, Tumba Maria di Kurta, Hege Maria di Andre, Ivati Kuda Ali, Iruanta on the prevailing truth and bodu, on the practice and bodu, Armane Dialva, Armanea height, Tumba height the Armane. Okay. Andre, 
ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಸೈಂಟಿಫಿಕಲಿ ಏನೂ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಆದರೆ ಏನಪ್ಪ ಅಂದರೆ ಒಂದು ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಏನು ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟು ರಾಜರು ರಾಜ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ದೇವತ ರಾಜ ಮೇಲೆ ಇರಬೇಕು ಜನತೆ ಕೆಳಗೆ ಇರಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನೋ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿಗೋಸ್ಕರ ಇವತ್ತಿ ಕೂಡ ಮೈಸೂರಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಪ್ಪ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಮನೆಗಳು ಅಂದರೆ ಈಗ ತುಂಬ ಎಲ್ಲ ಹಾ ಎಸ್ ಏನು ದೊಡ್ಡ ಬಿಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಕಟ್ಕೋತಾರಲ್ಲ ಹಾ ಕಟ್ಟೋಲ್ಲ ಓಕೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಮೈಸೂರು ಅಂತ ಏನು ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ನಾವು ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಅರಮನೆಯಿಂದ ಮೇಲ್ಗಡೆಗೆ ಯಾವ ಮನೆಯನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ಕಟ್ಟಿಲ್ಲ ಅರಮನೆಯ ಹೈಟ್ ಹೈಟಿಗೆ ಇದು ಒಂದು ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಇದಾದ ಬಿಟ್ಟರೆ ಏನೂ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲೂ ಹಾಗೆ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಜಪಾನಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಅಪ್ಪ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ದ ಗೀವ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ದ ಡ್ಯಾನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಹೇಗೆ ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ದ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ದ ವಿಂಡೋಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೀಲ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಪೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಟು ಗೀವ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ದ ಲಾಚ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ದ ರೋಡ್ ವುಡ್ ಫಾಲ್ ಅಪ್ ಆನ್ ದೇರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಿಮೇನ್ ಪ್ರೊಸ್ಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಕೈ ಕಾಲು ಎರಡನ್ನೂ ಕೂಡ ಸಾಷ್ಟಾಂಗ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಹಾಕಿ ಮಲಗಿರ್ತಾರೆ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಕೊಡೋದು ಅಪಾನ್ ದ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಿಮೇನ್ ಪ್ರೊಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸಾಷ್ಟಾಂಗ ಸಂಪೂರ್ಣವಾಗಿ ಭೂಮಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಮಲ್ಕ್ ಭೂಮಿ ಮೇಲೆ ಮಲಗ್ಬಿಡೋದು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಪ್ರೊಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಸಾಷ್ಟಾಂಗ ಅಂತಾರೆ ಅಂಟಿಲ್ ದ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಷನ್ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಬೈ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಷನ್ ಮೆರವಣಿಗೆ ಹೋಗೋ ತನಕ ಹಾಗೆ ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ದ ಟ್ರೇನ್ ರಿಯೂನಿಯರ್ ಟ್ರೇನ್ ಯೋರ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಷನ್ ಒನ್ ಟಾಲ್ ಕಂಪಿಟೆಂಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಮಾರ್ಚ್ ದ ಹೆಡ್ ಒಬ್ಬ ಕಾಂಪಿಟೆಂಟ್ ವೆರಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ವೆಲ್ ಬಿಲ್ಡ್ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ಅವನು ಅವನು ಮುಂದೆ ಬರ್ತಾನೆ ಮಾರ್ಚ್ ಮುಂದೆ ಬರ್ತಾನೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕ್ರೈಯಿಂಗ್ ಔಟ್ ಕ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಈ ಕ್ರೈಯಿಂಗ್ ಅಂತಲ್ಲ ಕ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಷನ್ ಕಾಷನ್ ಹೇಳ್ತಾನೆ ಏನಂತ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಬೈ ದ ವೇ ದಾರಿಯಲ್ಲಿರೋ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಗೆಟ್ ಡೌನ್ ಆನ್ ಯೋರ್ ನೀಸ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಡೌನ್ ಆನ್ ಯೋರ್ ನೀಸ್ ಒಂಡಿ ಅವ್ರು ಕೂತ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಕೆಳ ಕೂರಿಕೋ ಅಂತ ಅವನು ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ನೀಲ್ ಡೌನ್ ವೈಲ್ ದ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಂಗ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ ವೆಹಿಕಲಲ್ಲಿ ಕೂತ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಮುಂದಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಕೆಳ ಕೂತ್ಕೊಂಡು ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಕೊಡ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಸಡನ್ಲಿ ದ ಲೀಡರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಾಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಏಜ್ಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಪ್ ದ ಟ್ರೀ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಹಿ ಸಿಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಸ್ಕಾಟಲ್ಲಿರುವಂಥ ಒಬ್ಬ ಲೀಡರು ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾನ್ ಹಿ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ದ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಹೂ ಸಿಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಟ್ರೀ ನೋಡ್ತಾನೆ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಟು ಕಾಲ್ ಔಟ್ ಹಿಮ್ ವಿತ್ ಅನ್ ಆಂಗ್ರಿ ಟೋನ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಹಿ ವಾಂಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಸ್ಕೋಲ್ಡ್ ಎಮ್ ಅನ್ ಆಂಗ್ರಿ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಟು ಕಾಲ್ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಇನ್ನೇನು ಕೂಗಿ ಕರಿಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನ ಕರಿಬೇಕು ಬಟ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಹಿ ಯು ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಸಚ್ ಅನ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಫಿಲು ಎಷ್ಟು ವಯಸ್ಸಾಗಿದೆ ಅವ್ನಿಗೆ ಕೂಗಿದ್ರೆ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿ ದೆ ಪನಿಷ್ ಹಿಮ್ ನಾವು ಅವ್ನಿಗೆ ಶಿಕ್ಷೆ ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ಬೆಟರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟು ಕಾಲ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಪ್ರಿಟೆಂಡೆಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟು ನೋಟೀಸ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಬೈ ಸೊ ಪ್ರಿಟೆಂಡೆಡ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಇ ಕನ್ವಿನ್ಸ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಮಿ ಅವಾಯ್ಡ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಮಿ ಇಗ್ನೋರ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೀನ್ ಹಿಮ್ ನಾನು ನೋಡೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅವನ್ನ ಹಾಗಿದ್ಬೇಡ ಅಂತ ಅವನು ನಾಟಕ ಮಾಡ್ತಾನೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಒಂದು ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ ಕಾರ್ನರ್ ಅವನ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ ಕಾರ್ನರ್ ತೋರಿಸಿ ಯಾಕೆ ವಯಸ್ಸಾಗಿದೆ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಕಾಲ್ ಹಿಮ್ ನಾವು ವಾಟ್ ದ ಡೈನ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ದಿಲ್ ಪನಿಷ್ ಹಿಮ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಹಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ವಾಂಟೆಡ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಹಿ ಇಗ್ನೋರ್ ಡಿಮ್ ಪ್ರಿಟೆಂಡ್ ಅಂದರೆ ನಾಟಕ ಮಾಡೋದು ಸ
So he ordered his uh, helpers, attenders, to uh, give him lots of presents. Silk ropes, sponge cake, fans, and other rewards to be given to him. So he became happy and everything was given to the old man. And then Rajarali on the custom in a panthandre, or get kushi adaga, or get a kushi in the worst to go a mulaka, bear or get kushi patistare. So all the good things were given to the old man. He even invited him to his castle. Not only given presents, even uh, invited to visit castle. It's a very great thing for an old couple. Alva, a great, a old man. It's a very great thing. It's a very good thing for them. So all, when you have good heart, definitely you witness good things in your life. So the old man went gleefully home to share his joy with his dear old wife. So they went gleefully, glee and they went home. Gleefully, very happily, he became so happy and shared his joy. He wanted to share his happiness with his old wife. This is what happened and the, the daimyo has given me so much of, so many presents and invited me to visit him in his castle. But when the greedy neighbor heard, him, heard, of, heard of it, here heard past it. Same thing, as I repeat after that, whenever they become rich, the same thing is repeated, they failed. Alva, Adeta Ragrati. At last also, same thing repeated. He heard about it and he took some of the magic ashes, filled it in the basket and went out to the highway. And there he waited until a, a Daimyo's train came along with. Again, he waited for the procession. And instead of kneeling down, kneeling down, Again, he climbed a withered cherry tree. Same thing is repeated as by the old, kind old man. When the Daimyo himself was almost directly under the tree, he was almost directly under the tree. A uh, landlord, wealthy landlord, and he threw a handful of handful handful of ashes over the tree. Which he did not change apart. Even after scattering the ashes, nothing happened. The wind blew the fine dust in the noses and eyes of the daimyos and his wife. What happened after the uh, throwing the ashes in I took? That dust it filled in the eyes and the nose of the wife and the wealthy landlord. Such sneezing and choking. See, sneezing, they started sneezing. Sneeze, sorry, choking. It was filled in eyes and nose. Choking and the feeling uneasiness. Swallow problem. It spoiled all the pomp and dignity of the procession. Spoiled and destroyed all the pomp. Pomp and the uh, both the, the landlord and wealthy landlord and his wife, they were troubled. Dignity, And the man whose business it was to cry, and the Yara Manisha Litan Law, no business it was to cry. Jora Kirch on gay punishment could starting help over the law. Get down on your knees, get down on your knees. Aun in Hiltane, get down on your knees. Matte Hilda, Kutko Kala Kutko, Nis Mikutko, seize the old fool by the collar. Aun in Matane, first hook but to a collar it contound. Collar means this one. Hold Patti Hilti Villa. Ogi, get down on your knees, first Kutko. It's a punishment, a very bad way of punishing. And dragged him from the tree, dragged the alcohol, okay, and tumbled him. And Andre Aunana Kelag builds the tumbled him and his ash basket into the ditch by the Lord. Sorry, by the road. A basket in a ditch in the road, a road, a road, a road, a road, a road, a then beating him soundly. Soundly means soundly in Tandre, but Okay, sound Barodarantala beating him soundly, very badly in They've beaten him very badly. He left him for dead, and nobody helped him there. Everyone in the procession left him there itself to die. Nobody helped him to uh, come out of his uh, that's, that condition. Thus, the wicked old man died in the mud. 
so he died there how the dog met how it it, it met a tragic end in the same manner the greedy jealous envious bad i can say wicked old man met his tragic end but the kind friend look at the use you, look at the, those words used to describe you adjectives used for people wicked old man cruelty kept up kind friend of the dog kind friend of dog yaro the old couple how dwelt dwell andre vasa madu dwelt andre vasa madidru hege in peace shanti and plenty plenty prosper they are more prosper and happiness santosha tam to be contented and both he and his wife lived to a green old life look at the word used for green green means what like green old age while sagide but even then they are happy why because they are having all kinds of comforts and peace that is what wanted in old age avayasada kalake en beku shanti be jeevana tondre agbar aram agirbe they are prosper and lived a very peaceful life and uh, that uh, wicked old man he died he met a very tragic end so what you can infer out of this story uh, as i explained in the last class when you follow good path okay definitely good things happen to you so better be associate with good ideas good thoughts good people so definitely good things come back to you whatever you give to the society the same thing you will get it back so better you have all good things so that you can get good things in your life okay